Visana Senator. Friends and family of Jambi, good morning. Mko Salama. Uh, today I stand before you, very sad. Na najua niko na mengi ya kusema, but I'm trying to put my thoughts together. First, uh, to the family of Jambi. Uh, I want to pass the message from the First Lady, who has been uh, trying to intervene, Mahali Angeweza, and who I hope we will be working with her office to implement Jambi's legacy of having the endometriosis uh, center. Uh, I pass her condolences. Kutoka kwangu, I can tell you that uh, I met Jambi in Kibira, Tulikuwa function ya Shofko, and she was one of the judges. And uh, during that function, she actually was kind enough. Kuniongelesha alikuwa na vitu tulikuwa tunataka kudiscuss, and a friendship was uh, built from that day. Jambi was also a politician. And she had uh, hopes to, to be in politics. See the politics ya kando. Alikuwa nataka aingie mahali where she'll have an impact. So that is where we connected as well. She wanted us to work with the girls. Kuangelesha wa rembo maneno ya endometriosis. Because she knew that I was also working in the, with the girls in terms of menstruation and uh, period poverty. So we found a connection. We met severally um, on social occasions. Uh, obviously, I was trying to convince her, Akuje Pandeetu, as mame na ticket ya UDA, but Njambi was not convinced. <laughs> and she kept on telling me, Mpaka aone kazi ambayo tunafanya kama serikali at that point, she was. She was very keen on other things, but alikuwa nataka kuingia siyasa. So, I've known Jambi for about a year. And uh, one thing I can tell you about Jambi, from what I know, wengine muna mjua in a different way, lakini mimi venye na mjua. She was a very straightforward person. She was a... Ni mtu waku kuwa nakupatia gray areas. Alikuwa nakuambia venye how it is. And I really appreciated that because kwa hii siyasa na hii maisha sisi tunatembea, sometimes you need a person who will tell you kona ujinga na ni hapa tunafatuende. So I appreciated that about her. She was also very kind. And watu wengine mkisikia kind, I think you think it's about money, but Jambi was kind with her time. She was kind with her views. Ni mtu luko na mpigia na mwambia, ni aje nataka kutembea dagoreti hivi kidogo, tutapanga aje, anakuja, muna katini, muna panga kitu enye, inafakupangika. So, for me, that's how I knew Njambi. Unfortunately, the week uh, when she was in hospital, um, I called her because pia mimi niliona kwa mtandao watu walikuwa meanza kusema Njambi ya kuhusi. Now we had not uh, reconnected in that in that month. So I called her and I asked her what's happening. I can be a kohosi, kamuliza e kuaje. Kasema actually it's not so bad. Even when it's bad, she'd tell you poa, ako fiti. So ni kamuliza ni maona you have posted something you needed uh, blood. Can I post it so that ni, ni, ni we have a blood drive? So she said, yeah, you can post, and I hope what what akuja. And actually, one thing that I appreciate with many Kenyans who are online, wa Kenya walijitokeza, by the way, musisikize hizo vitu wanandika kwa mtanda, wa Kenya walijitokeza kutuwa damu, wengi. And uh, the parents can attest that at one point the blood was much that it was other patients walikuwa na wanasaidika. So the Kenyans who came out, I want to thank them. On, uh, I think it was Friday, 
nikienda kumuona nilikuwa nimetumwa na I reached out to the first lady nikamwambia kuna best yangu anaitwa Njambi she's a DJ she's an influencer a very strong person who can change lives of women and girls so on friday i was telling the first lady we need to intervene tuna need as much as a kohosi kuna venye anafaa kupele kwa atlanta because apparently only that center in atlanta was dealing with with Njambi and uh, i remember the first lady was on her way to kulikuwa na function ya sato some uh, holiday so she told me niko njiani lakini hebu nitumie nitumie kwa whatsapp nione how we can intervene so when i was talking to njambi i think it was friday we had hope and in fact she was very enlightened ilikuwa sasa tuanze kupanga how we are going to move to atlanta for for now further treatment or for because a specialist was there unfortunately we didn't make it that far because uh, on monday morning the njambi's father called me and um, it was actually after i had a meeting about njambi very early in the morning and akaniambia unfortunately we've lost njambi and uh, i i think until now ni kama sija accept so ya yeah, mungu ni hayo we we there's nothing much we can do however um i've been talking with the family the sisters the mother and the the brother um the father na i think we have agreed that the one thing that we can do because the jambi lived for a reason she was passionate about changing lives na kuna wasichana wengi ambao who will still benefit from Njambi's movement. Wao nilikuwa naambia watu Njambi was not just an influencer, she was a movement. And that's why even as a politician I was looking at her I'm like when ni kama ulevi ile strength uko nayo. Mtu anaweza chapa show watu kama 5000 wanakuja. Na sisi bado tuko hapa upcoming politicians we need to mobilize women at tunawasimamisha kwa line kuwatolea chai ndio wakuje. So I used to tell her you kuna kuna kitu jaona you are you are, you are really your movement and i just wish that uh, we could have translated that movement into into impactful leadership jusa hizi pale tuko tumefika siasa ya hii Kenya watu wache kusema mimi sitaki maneno ya siasa mkoe kama njambi because if you guys don't join politics you will keep saying our ma politicians wako aje mnafaa mwingie kwa kiwanja mtoe hao wenye mnasema hawafai kuwa and that's what jambi used to say all the time she's like you know i need to get in there so, so we can change the gorichi south so the only words i can leave and maybe what i've learned from jambi is number one, it doesn't matter how small you are and it doesn't matter watu watakudharau kiwango gani If you know that you have a purpose in this uh, life kama njambi alikuwa anasema ye for sure for sure she was going to change so many things in Dagoriti South and I think even even in her absence she has already changed so many things the fact that the office of the first lady is now sitting down and strategizing to implement how to put together an endometriosis center is because of Jambi si juu ya waziri fulani na si juu ya mwanasiasa fulani it's because of jambi so even in death even in death jambi's legacy lives on and that is the one thing that i i want to take with me that hata mimi nikifika mahali nitakuwa nimefika mungu aniite people can come and say this is what this person did Everybody knows what Njambi did for the reggae community the reggae fraternity munajua ile kazi Njambi amefanya for the women and the girls me I can personally tell you I know what she has done and so I want to celebrate her and I choose to celebrate her and I will take it upon myself if it is if it's the one thing I can do ile kitu yenyewe nafanya hata kama watu wanasema na chase clout nini nini at least historia endometriosis center 
we have to see it come alive. We have to have the Njambi Endometriosis Center. So that, you know, all of this was not for nothing. Kifo yake isikue ni kifo tu ilikuwa. Unakumbuka ule DJ alikuwa nini nini. At least we can carry the legacy and make sure that uh, the women and girls who are out here suffering from endometriosis can actually have diagnosis in time and treatment when it's supposed to be given. Um, Asante sana. And um, I'll be reaching out to the endo warriors. So that you can join the you can join the journey to make sure that Jambi's legacy is actually implemented. Thank you. Asante sana. Asante sana Senate. Yeah. Kuna kuna wimbo mwingine alikuwa DJ alikuwa anacheza sana tukianza hapa. Sijui kwa nini anacheza hiyo ngoma as we move on now to kwanza mambo ya misa. Yeah.